Hi guys, I'm Lady Venus Ferrosi and welcome to my channel. And I am a lifestyle dom, considerably a pro dominatrix, but for the most part, um, I'm not really proing it right now. Uh, staying uh, away from the professional lifestyle, I really want to focus more on like uh, the things that are more important to me right now, um, such as going after the things that I love. And, you know, going after the things I love is not necessarily whooping man's ass. <laughs> Today um, we are going to be talking about the different Dom archetypes. And I'm really excited about this. Initially, I wanted to talk about the different sub archetypes, but then I realized that it's such a robust uh, topic. And I really want to be able to finish doing some research because I could just give you guys the basics. Um, but I really want to really get into it, especially for the men that are a little bit curious about the lifestyle and don't really know where to start and not really sure if it might be for them, but they're looking to get the flavor of what it's like to be a submissive. Um, they're looking to kind of hear something that might resonate with them that might actually call them into the lifestyle. Uh, either way, don't worry, I have something coming for you. Um, but in the meanwhile, I kind of wanted to talk about the different Dom archetypes. Um, I can go over a few. I'm going to do like a handful, like literally. Um, and what I'm going to ask you guys to do is to go follow my Patreon because I definitely discuss in detail uh, all these different type of archetypes. And I think that it'll be really good for the community to kind of find some place that uh, they can access information about the lifestyle, um, especially if you're a person that reads a lot, um, a person that wants to start doing research about it, a person that's looking to explore it in general. If you're like a beginner, novice, uh, no exposure, yeah, you might want to follow me first and then go find my Patreon <laughs> to pretty much sign up for that because there is so much content available to you there. So yeah, so let's get into it. Um, the different type of doms. Uh, I would say the primary, well, the top five that's often uh, used, um, or I would say the top five that most women that are in the lifestyle gravitate towards. Yeah. So there's one, uh, there's the bratty bitch. <laughs> that's one particular type of dom. Then we have the sadistic satanic. I think that kind of speaks for itself, right? <laughs> and then we have, in general, the sadistic uh, sensual. That is a very, that is a very common archetype. Uh, many men tend to gravitate towards that. Or uh, let's say there are men that they prefer the more sensual side of the kink play. They tend to gravitate towards the woman that's more on the sensual side. But at the same time, they're looking for some casual violence so with that being said there has to be some level of sadism uh, involved because obviously they're a masochist they want to receive pain so you're going to find a sadistic bitch that's going to be able to administer it in a very sensual way so there's that um and by the way guys um don't worry i'm going to be coming back to each one of them i just wanted to kind of like generally run through each one so you can just kind of get like a general sense of the top five uh archetype that women generally gravitate towards. So we have, so far we have one, the bratty bitch. Uh, two, the sensual sadist. Uh, three, we have the strict bitch. I, in particular, like the strict bitch. Um, and then you have the ruthless, merciless. Now that is particularly spicy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have the mothering nurturer. Um, you know, it's, it's, that the mothering nurturing a lot of men like so believe it or not guys every every man wants their mother every man wants their mother to some degree everyone wants a mother it's giving safety there's something that is inherently attractive about uh, very mothering nurturing qualities I think by definition that is uh, the root of feminine energy so obviously men are going to obviously oh what's going on here obviously the men are going to be gravitating towards that or highly request that um, also too I find that a lot of uh, doms who are generally dominant in real life um, 
they usually have the mothering nurturing archetype i'm sorry guys what the fuck is this a lot of the women that are tend uh, that are actually very dominant in real life they tend to have a natural mothering nurturing archetype that is me you know outside of the dom lifestyle I inherently have a very dominant personality yes I can be very soft but at the same time I'm giving big mother vibes right I think any woman that tends to lead something um, or find themselves in alpha role or you tend to take on the mother or the big sister you obviously probably have that mothering nurturing type of quality so I would not be surprised if you found yourself gravitating towards that type of role right and then we have the sensual goddess sensual goddess archetype you know what they kind of remind me of they remind me of the very feminine goddess like it kind of speaks for itself but there is a particular type of ooh. they remind me of i'm trying to find the word for it they kind of remind me of siren they remind me of a siren you know those women that are so luring they're very attractive uh very alluring um it's almost like they're less demanding and more hypnotizing <laughs> so it's almost like they don't even have to really ask for too much because it's it's going to be giving it's true uh siren energy and i'm going to get right back into that but what i would say is if you're a person that uh if you're a woman that you're more prone uh, or you prefer to be submissive or you might be a switch I would say taking on the sensual goddess role might be the very uh, the most easiest one um, yes you are leading the situation but it's giving um, borderline controlling from the bottom yeah <laughs> you're more prone to controlling from the bottom it's giving I'm not gonna take what I want it's giving I'm gonna hypnotize you and then you're gonna give it to me there is lots of control there <laughs> whether or not the guy is aware of it uh, so I do love that for you ladies mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so the first archetype uh, the bratty bitch she is giving spoiled she pushes along the lines of a brat a princess bride as far as uh so let's say for example if a submissive brat um is considered the bratty princess the dominant the female dominant version of that would just be the bratty bitch it's giving uh daddy's girl she's obviously very spoiled uh definitely demanding uh can be quite domineering um so she has much of those qualities right um what kind of men or submissives does she tend to deal with she prefers uh the gentleman right uh any woman that's particularly al along the bratty side do does very well with the gentleman kind of subs the subs that are typically very chivalrous um, at least in their general life so being you know a submissive to a bratty bitch um, if you're a gentleman and tend to be you know very chivalrous in general that role might be quite suitable for you um, but at least you'll know for the most part you're just dealing with like a brat like a dominant brat so uh, let's say for example you're a man that's a dominant and you might have had a sub well, let's say you're getting ready to switch well if you prefer the brats the princess brats then you probably want the bratty bitch right so <laughs> there's that um and then the second dom archetype uh the sadistic satanic <laughs> um she has the quintessential streak of evil in her right um she has no problem pushing limits and for the most part she's cruel without reason except the reason is she just simply enjoys the sadistic shit and you just have to be built for uh pain so obviously you would have to be a masochist right so if you're a sub that you're really like a i don't want to say a pain slot yeah <laughs> a pain slot right if you're you know into like the pain heavy on the violence then you very well might like the sadistic, satanic type of chick. They're more hardcore. 
Four. Um, they give me a little bit of Resident Evil vibes. Um, can be a little bit spooky, but if you're into that type of shit, I would tell you definitely go all for it. They'll they'll definitely give you what you're looking for. <laughs> um, and then three, Strict Bitch. I love that one. <laughs> um, she is intimidating and hot. Her dominant aspects can naturally make men feel inferior it is giving the head bitch in charge it's like when your boss walks into the room and she's a woman and she's a bitch and it's like everyone tightens up you tighten up when you hear her heels clicking down the hall yes it's giving me flashbacks because that is exactly the effect i was triggering for people um it is giving uh the teacher with the tight ass the tight ass teacher right like she's super hot uh but she's like such a fucking bitch. <laughs> um, I would say what she is definitely good at is is structure, maintaining order. Uh, she always uses a lot of teachable moments. Uh, humiliation is definitely going to be a thing, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> I would say one of the best ways to um, train a sub in to learning something, at least if you want to get him to get it right very quickly it's humiliation but it's a good thing that they like that but I'm, I'm going to tell you this humiliation would definitely get them to kind of like straighten up very fast depending on how it's administered right um and then let's see is there anything else about this strict bitch archetype um I want to make sure that I want to make sure that I'm getting all of oh she is the no-nonsense type. The no-nonsense. It's giving the pleasure and the reward is simply her maybe giving you a little bit of leniency. Yeah. A little bit of freedom. Uh, the strict bitch is definitely controlling, controlling. <laughs> it's how she maintains the order right um and some submissives really need that i want to say that lawyers in particular they do very well with the strict bitch um yeah I'll, I'll tell you guys about that in a separate video but if you're you know an attorney you might very well like the strict bitch mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and then we have the ruthless merciless yeah they just don't give a fuck. <laughs> she just don't. There is something about... You don't know if she's psychotic or just sociopathic. Is she a psychopath or a sociopath? Either way, it's giving borderline <laughs> the edge of either. And um, it's just only a matter of time before you figure out, well, what is it? Right? Um... She has no problem pushing limits. She has no problem pushing limits the way in which a sadistic, satanic one, uh, dominant woman, might push uh, your limits. Um, the difference is the satanic, uh, the sadistic, satanic woman. Mm, I don't want to say it can get a little bit bloody, but it is really evil. They tend to play along, um, play with things that incorporate um, pain that might break skin a bit, might leave some marks. Um, we call them love marks, by the way. Um, they might definitely be into a lot of medical play as well. That'll be interesting. Mm. Sorry, I got a little bit flashback, guys. And I want to also um, add to that, too. As far as the mer uh, merciless, ruthless bitch, she is definitely more of the the ruthless, merciless. She just doesn't give a fuck, right? Um, this is for the men that definitely like when the women overpower them. She, they like to see women uh, that can come in contact with someone else's pain and be unbothered by it. I'm talking about if you have the stomach to be able to push someone's limits um, without any of that 
we call it I call it empathy bounce back or feedback so while you're let's say for example you're administering pain um, and damn you're getting close to pushing limits um, pushing someone's limits can really teach you how much of your own sadistic limits you might have because you can push someone's limits and realize yeah certain pain thresholds yeah I feel like I I pick up on that as an empathetic uh, empathetic uh, creature person either way you can literally push be pushing someone's limits and start to feel some of the shit that you're administering right um the women that are ruthless and merciless they don't they don't really feel that as much they're merciless you can beg for mercy but they're not going to give it to you right um they are for the men that really want to be broken down right uh they are for the subs that want to see where their limits truly are. These are for the subs that have a lot of experience and really trying to push themselves to a whole new level, right? Um, and actively seeking someone to push it. <laughs> You're looking to see how far your pain threshold can go. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is going to be the one to do it. Uh, highly recommend that and then we have the mothering nurturing it's giving mother knows best whatever punishment you get you obviously deserve and you will take it and be appreciative of it why because you understand it's for the greater good right um with the mothering type right they tend to take on a, a very flr total power exchange total power exchange or an FLR uh, female led relationship kind of vibes yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would say if you are actively seeking out a Dom that's gonna give you girlfriend oh, no I don't want to say girlfriend vibes uh, mothering nurturing someone that's going to absolutely push you and force you to tighten up um and really not gonna care too much about how you feel around it because it's not about feeling it's about knowing what's good for you right so if mother knows best you shall listen and forget the rest right so let that sink in now for women if you are naturally you know take on the big sister mother type vibes you might have been like the oldest sibling very well the mothering nurturing will very well come naturally to you right um so there's that and then lastly we have the sensual goddess yeah it is see like i told you guys dominance is confidence is dominant right there's something about inherently being charismatic um unapologetic really liberated in your skin that is very alluring it is hypnotizing um, She's charisma charismatic, hypnotic. Uh, she carries a lot of siren energy, right? Look that up, guys. Um, healing energy. That's another one as well. Uh, I would say her dominance comes in um, in, a, in a way where men cannot resist her. Men are in her, men are fundamentally weak to her. She doesn't really have to ask for much um, because they just they just have this tendency to kind of like give a lot to her um and even if she asks it's not much resistance around that um she tends to trigger some obsessive type of traits within her subjects um this is for the men that really like the goddess vibes that almost want to be weakened you don't want much pain or physical aspects or maybe well there's definitely going to be some mind control but the mind control is almost comes via hip hypnosis her, her existence in in your presence is is hypnotizing it's alluring um you're just incredibly infatuated and so uh intrigued by her that it's almost like you're just waiting for her by her every beck and call right um you'll find yourself being quite obsessed over her uh she almost feels like a drug to you mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I want to say for anyone that you feel like your personality or you tend to carry that energy nonetheless, men tend to like either throw themselves at you um, 
or if you're a submissive where you just want someone that's gonna like weaken you a bit you know that's gonna I don't know finesse you swindle you um, naturally just make you want to give things up the sensual goddess might very well be for you mm -hmm. so that's it guys I really hope that this pretty much sums it up but don't forget to like subscribe and comment and don't forget to follow my patreon i definitely post a lot of information about the kink life and i absolutely want you guys to get the flavor so share your experiences with me i'm trying to build a community and i want to show you guys something so just tune in and i guess i'll see you next time follow me everywhere i go including instagram tiktok uh, patreon just youtube everywhere just guys i'm here to serve you while my submissives are serving me i want to share the love that they pour into me right so don't forget to like follow and subscribe and comment uh,